Ja Morant is back, baby. Ja Morant is back like he never left. The Grizzlies all-star point guard finishes 25 game suspension on December 19th for his social media antics involving guns. Not only did he have 34 points, 8 assists, and 6 rebounds while shooting 50% from the field, he also hit the game-winning buzzer beater to give the Grizzlies the W. Before this game, the Grizzlies were sitting at a disappointing 6-19, but their season seems to be revitalized with John Moran. The first half of John Moran's return game versus the New Orleans Pelicans was a familiar story for the Memphis Grizzlies. Offensive miscues led to a massive 60-41 halftime deficit, but the second half was something entirely new. A season-high 74 points, a furious comeback, and a phenomenal game winner. With all of this news and hype around the return of John Morant, there is one main question. With Morant's return, can the Grizzlies turn their season around and make the playoffs? In my opinion, with Morant in the lineup, the Grizzlies are a playoff team. They have two players outside Morant who can get 20 points a game on any night. Desmond Bain is averaging a career-high 24 points per game this season, while Jaron Jackson Jr. is averaging 21.5 points per game, also a career-high to start the year. Keep in mind that Triple J was the DPOI just last season. The Grizzlies have core role players like Marcus Smart, Santi Aldama, and David Roddy. After their performance against New Orleans, it is clear that all these players needed was the spark, and Ja Morant is the spark in Memphis. Right now, the Grizzlies sit six and a half games out the play-in in the West, and before I go, I want to leave you with one question. Is the return of John Morant enough to propel the Grizzlies into the playoffs? Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Slash cards out!